The Teaching Council has responsibilities for setting the standards for the teaching profession, setting the code of professional responsibility for teachers. In those documents, it talks about having places of learning that are safe, that make our learners well, that acknowledges and tends to cultural needs of our learners. The Office of the Children's Commissioner released their report on Education Matters about 2018. Personally, I was really affected by it. That really just called out the fact that our children and young people, our rangatahi, were saying that they experienced racism. They experienced it in the classroom, they experienced it on the way to the classroom. The urgency of the change that was needed really struck home. And so that became our call to action. It was our motivation to step into the space and start to create something specifically for teachers that supported them in the spaces they're in to have really hard conversations about the subject of racism. And so I approached the Human Rights Commission. They have the, the mandate to, if you like, dismantle racism and to lead in that space of human rights. We worked with people at the Ministry of Education, the Department for Prime Minister and Cabinet, the Office of the Children's Commissioner, and the Ministry of Justice, Te Papa, academics, and importantly, we've worked with the teaching profession, people who are doing the job today, to learn from them, to, to join with them, but then taking our unique area of influence and responsibility to support teachers, then they will spearhead this change on behalf of all of us. And I just want to be really clear that uh, there's Te Huri Hanganui that's being launched by the Ministry of Education, there's a national action plan, um, many different industries and sectors and agencies are looking at how we tackle this policy problem. I know teachers are busy, I know that there are many different things that uh, you're attending to. So what we've done is tried to create something that's accessible. Uh, you can go to a website and download an app. This app is designed to module by module support a teacher to reflect and to think about what they know about racism to be able to unteach it in the classroom. What we've done is looked at the knowledge base, I guess, in three different sections. And the first one is to identify racism, and that's where we'll start. The second one that we will move to will be confronting racism and then dismantling it. The big picture, I think, I, you know, you could say it in one word and we probably overuse it these days, but it's equity. Those, and mostly tangata whenua, who are being disadvantaged because of their race. We can't have our kids experiencing racism. And so the call to action now is we need you. COVID-19 showed us that we, in a, in a time of crisis, we called on the teaching profession, on those education leaders to stand up and lead. Teachers are human rights advocates, not just in their classrooms or in their, their school or their early childhood centre, but in society. It will take all of us, they can't do it for us, but they are certainly in a unique position, uh, shaping the hearts and minds of the next generation. And so our job, I think, is really to get around them and to support them to be able to then teach in a way that means that racism will be dismantled. And the hope one day, of course, is that racism won't exist in this country. It will be intolerable. Unteach is a call to action. So we invite you, we implore you to help us to make this change.